bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Hot Beer Reviews. Hello again. And welcome to French Horse Bear Reviews. My name is Scott. I am Jeff. Tonight we have another bear from Treehouse. This is Shimmer Double IPA, 8% alcohol. Charlton, Massachusetts is where they're from. American hops with peach and passion fruit purees. Flavor notes are this tropical fruit, bubblegum, ripe guava, earthy citrus and light passion fruit. That's because us guys are on a diet now. Yeah. So we only do a light. We'll do the heavy. Yeah. We'll do the heavy passion fruit. Uh, no more. Check out our comments down below for all our social media accounts and our Redbubble account to get yourself a t-shirt. And down there you will also find our link for Untapped. In the description. In the description. And uh, the comments won't have any of that information. Sorry, sorry. Okay. The FHBR is our handle on <sighs> Untapped. That's all I got for book work to do. Scott, fucking do the rest. Donated by Steve Manning. I fucking fucked that up. Sorry, Steve. It's all right. Steve Manning donates everything lately. Yes. Not even drinking anymore. <laughs> this is wicked creamy looking. Yes. It's like someone with a urine problem. Mm-hmm. Maybe a yeast infection. Yeah, possibly. Possibly. Um, having too much sex. That's what that's from. I would not know. Nope. <laughs> it's a creamy head on it. It is creamy looking, yeah, for sure. Even the head on it looks thick. Thick. Um, thick. Thick. All right. That's what it looks like. Yeah, let's smell it. Smells delicious. It smells really good. This is light passion fruit. Not the heavy stuff. Right. Two percent. Yes. Skim. Skim. Skim passion fruit. <laughs> fruit puree IPA. Here we go. Double IPA. Sorry. Cheers. Mm. Pretty good. Very nice. Yes. This is probably the best treehouse we've had tonight. Definitely. Very nice. It's shimmering in my shimmer, shimmer. It's my, sh it's shimmering in my shimmer. -er. Um, <laughs> just bypassing that whole thing. I'm not, alcohol I'm, no booze at all. Full disclosure, I'm not a huge fan when breweries use fruit purees, but. You wouldn't know it in this one. That's, that's kind of weird, actually. But they say it up front. Yes. I don't like when I find out after the fact that it was they added. Back sweetened or something. Um, so to know it up front, and they said they're going to be doing more like this a series of, you know, syrups and, and purees. As long as I know up front, I'm fine with it. I'm looking for it. I, I expect it. Um, I'm really impressed when a beer tastes like it has fruit in it, and it's just the hops. Mm -hmm. Um this does not have it, which is fine. They disclose that, and I'm okay with that. That's all I have to say about that. That's it. Nothing else. That's it. This is very good. <laughs> <laughs> this is excellent. Yeah. Very good, yes. Maybe not. This isn't like... You know, Treehouse has its classics that are excellent. This is very... I like this a lot. This is close, but not like Green or Julius or... It's Some a good one. It's one of the, the best ones I've had in a long time from them. Mm -hmm. This isn't a bad thing to say about it. It's a compliment. It kind of all just finishes off and goes away. Nice but I want more. Yeah. Not a cliffhanger, but it no, 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 no. subtly yeah. fades into the bushes like Homer Simpson fades back into the bushes. But I want him to come back out. And he comes back out. Mm -hmm. He beats his head out. So yeah, so I will give this one a four three five. Oh wow, Des, you're amazing me with these scores on these. Why? Four three five. I'm gonna make this easy for myself. Don't do it. Don't do it. And give it a four four five, which puts us at a four four. Yep. 
Check us out in a few <laughs> seconds, and we will be back with the French O's Bay Reviews on Tap Tree Cat. Thanks for watching. See you next time. My turn. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the French Rose Bay Reviews Untapped Recap for Treehouse's Shimmer. It's an 8% double IPA out of Charlton, Massachusetts. Mm, donated by one of our favorites, Steve Manning. Steve Manning. Manning. That's all right. Is that what you were pointing out? No, I was just pointing out ah. people out there. They don't YouTube really care. YouTube land. Come on, let's go. I'm almost out of here. All right, Jeff and I scored this one at a 4.4, which is unbelievable. We had 12 friends check it in at a 4.14, and they are... Uh, Mike Lafave with a 3.5. That's the low on our friends list. Yeah, Sam W. gave it a 4.2. Chris, 4.5. Jack Anderson, a 4... Oh, excuse me, a 4.5 oh. and, and a 4.25. Jesus. I don't know if you're having a medical episode there. So... <laughs> Samantha Testa, three seven five. Yeah. Dennis Austin gave it a four and a half two times, which is a nine. Jeff Gilmet gave it a four. Sam Bolin Bolin gave it a four. Bolin Bolin Bolin. Nathaniel Decknadel uh, gave a four and a quarter two times. So what's that? Eight and a half. Uh huh. Yeah. John D gave it a four and a half. Dylan LeBlanc with a four, and Brian G gave it a four. Yeah. Jeff and I found this to be very pleasing. Yes, we gave it a 4.4 combined, and 5,204 other people gave it a 4.28. Yep. I think that's low on this one. Yeah, agreed. Um, Clearly. But, but who knows? It is what it is. We will see you next time on French Rose Bay Reviews. Have a great night. Hundreds of bottles of beer on the wall. Hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to be.